How's it going? So I had uh, heard about this issue on the news earlier. Uh, on the uh, news radio. And I had originally made a video sharing my thoughts on it. And then I decided to erase it like I do a lot of the times I make videos. I don't do anything with them. But I just uh, watched a video from a channel called Resisting the Reset. And I like Resisting the Reset. He's a good channel. I, uh, I like his content. I pretty much agree with... Uh, most of the stuff he, he talks about, but, so he was just talking about, so what I'm talking about is this, uh, Roe versus Wade situation, how it's going to be overturned, and from my understanding, uh, basically, I don't know if it's, like, official or what's going on, but, but I think that they're going to make, or trying to make abortion illegal, and it may already have, it may already be the case, I'm not, I'm not really sure, but, this, I mean, if I had a larger audience, I'm sure this would rub a lot of feathers the wrong way, but uh, I'm going to share my opinion on this. Most people that are in the truth community and most people that uh, label themselves as a Christian um, are going to be on the side of resisting the reset and they're going to have the uh, opinion that Abortion is, is completely wrong. Abortion is murder. Uh, he kept saying like, Oh, I, I know I'm crazy. I know it's it's insane. But but killing babies is, is, I think, is wrong. I don't think we should murder babies. I know it's way crazy. And it's just... I, I just totally disagree with that. I, I love killing babies. I always have... I'm just joking. But no, I, I don't think... I don't think it's so black and white. I don't think that... <laughs> he, he said, you know, conception begin or uh, life begins at conception. Like, how do you know that? How do you know that? And he was even saying that I think abortion should be illegal 100% of the time. No ifs, ands, or buts. I don't care if the woman was raped. It doesn't matter. They shouldn't be allowed to have abortions. I, I just totally, totally, I could not disagree with that more. Um, I, uh, me and my ex-girlfriend, this was like four years ago, five years ago, she ended up getting pregnant, and it was like literally the only time I ever uh, didn't pull out Okay, let, let me just be freaking uh, crude. That's what happened. I didn't pull out. And she ended up getting pregnant. And she was going to have the baby. We were going to have the baby. But what ended up happening was she ended up having health problems. She ended up having... We went to three different specialists. Nobody knew what was wrong. Nobody knew what was going on. But every, every, every morning between a certain time window, she would have such bad pains. And I don't know if it was back pains. I don't know if it was stomach pains. And this was like right at the beginning. And it was so bad that it was literally like the most excruciating thing. And she went through this for weeks, dude. And it was so bad. And finally, I mean, we had no choice, dude. We had to get an abortion. And... Not because we wanted to, not because we like to murder children, but because, I mean, we didn't have a choice. And people that think abortion is wrong seem to think that aborting a baby... Now, I don't, I don't think that aborting a baby months into the term, that's, that's totally a different situation, but having an abortion, like quickly I mean dude you have to understand most people I think all people that have abortions are people that aren't able to 
they, they made a mistake. They weren't able to, they're not able to raise a child. And, you know, the, the, these people that are having abortions are not people that need to be having children. Like, dude, be responsible, dude. Wear a freaking condom or freaking pull out, dude. It's not hard. But there are situations where, dude, I mean, dude, pe people that say that have never been in a situation before that, damn, we're dealing with something like, dude, I don't know. I just I just completely disagree with that. But but the 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 point that I was trying to make this morning when I made a video was that I'm just confused on why these people who are making these decisions why they're acting like they freaking give a crap about life, dude. Like these are these are like High-level politicians, dude, like the most crookedest, wicked people are like, dude, I don't understand their, their game here. I don't understand, like, what their angle is. I don't, under, like, there's got to be some sort of angle here because these, these are not the type of people that care about human life. Like, I just, it really is, is, is pretty confusing. I think there's more to it than just what we're being shown but um to like right now in texas it is illegal to have an abortion and i know somebody that is pregnant and this this person got pregnant because a mistake was made she had nothing to do with it she had no i mean Sure, she did have sex, but it's not the woman. It's not like she's freaking super freaking strong and just grab the dude and like, ah, oh, you're going to nut inside of me and you're not going to be able to stop it. Like, dude, some of these dudes are freaking piece of crap people, dude. They have no self-control. They don't care. And they both had too much to drink one night, too much to drink one night. And now, now she's pregnant. The dude is nowhere in the picture. She would have gotten an abortion had she had the, the you know, she would have gotten an abortion immediately, but it's it's not it's not legal. So she's having to go through a nine month freaking term. Like, dude, that is like I just dude. It's easy for a guy to say, oh well, uh abortion's murder! Murdering children, dude. You tried carrying a baby for nine months, dude, that you had no part of, that you had no say in, that you just, dude, you freaking made me pregnant and now I have to deal with this for nine months when I, for one, can't take care of the baby and for two, like, dude, no, I just, I just don't agree with it, dude. I think there are certain situations where, <laughs> I, I don't know, I just think, I think it's totally they the whole the whole play here it may just be to get both sides freaking at each other's throats dude I mean I who knows we'll only know in time but I totally disagree with it I think that uh for one for one and this is also going to be an unpopular opinion but there are too many freaking people in this world dude we have way too many people and like 99% of people are just so freaking stupid and brainwashed and freaking like we don't need more of these people like dude please get an abortion like let's get abortion should be mandatory dude i mean honestly like there's just too many people dude and <laughs> It's just not a good situation, man. If things were different, dude, we don't live in a freaking good, nice, happy world, man. Like, the Bible says, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 7 says, let me just, let me just read it. I don't want to misspeak and somebody freak out, even though I know what the verse says. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 7. And the dust returns to the ground it came from. And the spirit returns to God who gave it. It's talking about when a person dies. Okay? 
and the dust returns to the ground it came from, and the spirit returns to God who gave it. Okay? So what I believe is that to return somewhere means that we were there prior. I cannot return to Taiwan because I have never been there. So, if the spirit returns to God, that means the spirit was with God in heaven and then the spirit came to this earth so if a baby is aborted they're going straight to heaven like dude why is people why are all these christians so against abortion like i wish i was aborted dude then i wouldn't have to deal with the hardship of life dude life is like 75 to 80 percent hardship and that's just for me personally. A lot of people are like 100% hardship. Like, I don't know. I'm I'm freaking rambling on, but I I, I don't agree with this uh, situation. Uh, I don't agree with most situations. I don't agree with government. I don't agree with. Uh, I don't agree with the whole. <laughs> everything that's in place in this life, uh, meaning, you're born. And then you go to school for 12 years. And then uh, if you're lucky, you get a job to where you can work 40 to 50, sometimes more hours a week just to pay to survive. And then you die. Like, who set, who set that up? Like, why do I have to work at a job I don't like just, just to be able to have a roof over my head and like dude why can't I just go live in the freaking woods somewhere and build build a house out of trees and and just just survive why like why do I have to do all this stuff oh and dude I make me personally okay I make $15 an hour and I live paycheck to paycheck I don't have a nice car I definitely don't have a nice living situation. Like, dude, I stay broke. And, like, how much of my freaking paycheck goes to freaking Uncle Dick, Sam? That's extortion. Like, dude, this life is not that great. Everybody's acting like, oh, we're just murdering children. Like, dude, these children got it made. They get to go right back to heaven, dude. Anyway, that's my thoughts on it. Uh, if you disagree, then that's fine, dude. The thing I also believe is that people are allowed to have different opinions. If people feel differently, great, dude. If everybody agreed, then the world would be very strange. So, if I, like, people that are 100% against abortion, I don't have anything wrong with, I don't have any issues with them. They just... They haven't lived the life that I have lived. They People have the opinions that they have because of the life that they've lived. We are where we are because of the roads we've traveled. That's what my dad told me once. Like the only nice thing worth anything that my dad ever told me. Um, and, I, and I agree with that. I think that if you have an opinion, you probably have that opinion for a reason. And maybe... What you feel is right for you and what I feel is right for me. You know? But anyway, I mean, I, I don't agree with, uh, like, killing animals. I don't agree with, oh, I see a stray dog. I'm just going to go run over it with my car. But Benji here, when I got him, when he was a puppy, and I picked him up from the shelter, the freaking animal pick up a dog place they freaking cut his nuts off i mean that's gotta be some kind of abortion you know they took his nuts away so you know if abortion begins at conception so isn't jacking off abortion because those little sperms are like little almost babies so i mean you know if you think abortion is 100% wrong 100% of the time then if you ever jacked off you're a murderer right like 
I just think it's a lot. It's not so black and white. And I think that, um, whatever. I, I've said enough. I love you guys. I'll see you.